we're still seeing a few clouds across the valley, but that sun is definitely peeking through and it is extremely muggy outside. If you're heading out for lunch, McAllen 88 degrees, Harlingen 89, Brownsville at 87. We are expecting another hot afternoon like we saw within the past two to three days. Also breezy conditions. Winds gusts are peaking at 31 miles an hour in McAllen, Westlaco 26 miles an hour, Brownsville at 29 miles an hour. So another breezy and hot day as we head into the rest of this afternoon. We are expecting that heat index to surpass the 100 degree mark highs in the mid to upper 90s down as the 80s as we get closer towards 9 p.m. Partly cloudy skies. We are going to see some increasing cloud coverage, but of course, always a reminder to drink water and stay hydrated. If you are spending some time outdoors, wear loose, light colored clothing. Check the back seat and look before you lock as we are going to be dealing with some dangerous hot conditions here across the valley for today. As the National Weather Service issuing a heat advisory for the northern Hidalgo and Star County as the heat index is forecasted to range between 111 to 115. That's for areas out to the west. But as we look at the heat index right now, it's already feeling like 101 in Rio Grande City, 99 in Harlingen, Raymondville, 100 degrees, 97 in Brownsville. And that's all thanks to the atmospheric moisture and those increased dew points and humidity levels. So expecting those southeast winds around uh, 15 to 20 miles an hour, but we're seeing those upper 70s in terms of the dew point. So we are extremely muggy outside as we head into the next uh, 24 hours. As we head into the afternoon, we are expecting that heat index to once again be a bit uh, on the extremely hot side. We're going to range around to 115 to 116 for areas out to the west, and we're going to see relatively hot conditions for tomorrow, but we're going to be on that cooling trend as we head into the next uh, two to three days. We have ridging of high pressure that uh, was overhead across Texas. We have an area of high pressure to the south of us, and then one that was moving off towards the deep south. That is keeping us mostly sunny and keeping those temperatures on the warming side. But as we head into the next seven days, we are expecting mostly dry conditions, just cloudy nights, sunny days, hot and humid weather. However, those high temperatures are going to be back to the seasonal normals, only topping out in the low 90s starting on Wednesday and remaining in the low 90s for the rest of our work week uh, for us here across the valley, as well as dealing with really no rain chances. So unfortunately, no significant rain chances. That is going to be a negative effect on our improving drought condition because all the rain that we did receive within the past two to three weeks it did definitely help that and we're not really expecting any more rain for us here across the valley as we head into the next seven days. The drought monitor right now abnormally dry across most of our area that extreme to exceptional drought conditions as well out of our viewing area all thanks to the rain that we received last week. But as we head into the next seven days, we are expecting that uh, occasionally cooler conditions for Wednesday and through Thursday highs in the low 90s, but we're going to be in the mid to upper 90s as we head into this afternoon and into tomorrow with overnight lows in the 70s for the next seven days.